Hey everybody, I'm Christopher Green. You're watching AMTV Alternative Media Television. Of course, this is BitcoinRich.com, the number one blockchain cryptocurrency educational platform in the world. I've got some big stories today coming from traditional finance, Wall Street, and also crypto news. JP Morgan's top quant trader warns next crisis to have flash crashes and social unrest not seen in 50 years. Says it will be worse than anything that we have ever seen. Again, this is the head of JP Morgan Chase, one of the largest too big to fail banks on planet Earth, warning of an imminent crash in the US stock market, which will decline by more, if not more than 50%, and cause social unrest in America, unlike anything we have ever seen in the last century. Okay, if we go back to the 1950s or that general period of time, of course, that marked the assassinations of JFK, Martin Luther King Jr., and all kinds of social chaos in the streets. And we started to see this a little bit in 2008 and 09, but of course, the central bankers and the Federal Reserve was able to slap on a Band-Aid onto the gunshot wound and, of course, print currency from nothing out of thin air and kind of just paper over this situation. Now, of course, all of this is artificial. It's one of the reasons why we have a 20 plus trillion dollar national debt in this country. And we've had a lot of problems since. JP Morgan's top quant, Marco Kalanovic, predicts a great liquidity crisis. He says it will hit financial markets, marked by flash crashes in stock prices and social unrest across the board. Now, very few Americans understand that 90% of the trading on Wall Street when it comes to stocks, ETFs, exchange traded funds, and index funds is all quant, otherwise known as computer-based, which means computer, computers are trading at nanoseconds in any given moment, buying low, selling high, and then shorting high and, and buying back low if they're shorting different positions. So when a computer says sell, they all sell at once. And uh, there's no humans involved anymore. Uh, mostly, again, 90% of all this is computer driven. And it's why we've seen flash crashes in the past. We had one, I think it was in 2010. We had another one very recently. And this trader is predicting a huge mega crash in the not too distant future, of which he's dubbed a great liquidity crisis. The trillion dollar shift to passive investments, computerized trading strategies, and electronic trading desks he says, will exacerbate sudden, severe stock drops. Central banks will be forced to make unprecedented moves, and which is incredible to think about because we've already gotten 0% interest rates. We've had Operation Twists. We've had trillion-dollar bailouts for the too-big-to-fail banks and the billionaires that actually own them. I mean, what possibly could come next? Well, this is what he said could come next. Direct purchase of equities total chaos in America, uh, the eradica eradication of generations of wealth here in the United States. And he said that central banks may in fact outright purchase U.S. securities. This is already occurring in Japan. And many have speculated that maybe it's already occurred in the United States to stabilize the markets from going to zero. There could even be what he calls negative income taxes. So, you know, it's interesting because this is an unpopular opinion right now because, of course, U.S. stock markets are trading at an all-time high. Amazon is the uh, newest trillion-dollar company to follow Apple. Warren Buffett, who never invested in Apple computers until recently, just bought Apple. And it's now valued at over a trillion dollars. So we're in a period of time where it's like a renaissance, right? There's all-time highs. Uh, there is increased optimism amongst the general public. And so this is very unpopular, but this is actually the time that all of us, myself included, should be and are preparing. Timing of when this next crisis, he says, will occur is, of course, uncertain. But markets appear to be safe through the first half of 2019. Of course, nobody knows when this can happen. I think it was in the 1990s, a hedge fund almost blew up the entire stock market. People forget about that. And again, it's only been a short 10 years since the worst financial collapse in global history to hit not just the United States, but every financial institution worldwide. So he goes over to talk about how sudden severe stock sell-offs sparked by lightning fast machines, quant computers, unprecedented actions by central banks to shore up asset prices, and even violent social unrest could be seen in the streets of America. Uh, we haven't seen this again in over half 
a century. So the big takeaway here is that everything is computer based, everything is quant based, nothing's trading on fundamentals, it's trading on computer models, algorithms, and mathematical computations of those that actually move the markets up and down in New York City today. So it's a huge, huge risk and it's another reason, again, all of you should be prepared. I'll get to that in a moment. Uh, we are actually, uh, we will be holding a, a special live webinar, a couple different webinars in the not too distant future. They're 100% free, so click the link below and join us. I'll go over that in a quick sec. Also in the news, Goldman Sachs declines opening up a Bitcoin slash crypto trading desk today. And I tweeted earlier, look, we don't need Goldman Sachs to approve Bitcoin. We don't need Goldman Sachs to move forward with a trading desk to trade cryptocurrencies. I mean, it's, we already have a futures market okay, on both markets. This has already been somewhat institutionalized moving to Wall Street. There was a lot of hope actually pinned on Goldman's ambition uh, to trade uh, crypto and what it would mean to the price of Bitcoin and uh, normalizing cryptocurrency, if you will. So the decision, uh, if in fact uh, they don't uh, press ahead with it, uh, could have implications for the price. Uh, there you're looking at Bitcoin right now at about $7,000 a coin. Bitcoin has been successful thus far without Goldman Sachs. So we don't need Goldman Sachs. Okay, we don't need these too big to fail bankers like Jamie Dimon and others to succeed. Really what I think is happening today is uh, they're looking to, the government wants to regulate. Okay, so really what's going to happen is they're going to move towards more draconian regulation while at the same time the insiders, the too big to fail bankers, scoop up all of these assets, this new asset class, soon to be worth over a trillion dollars, and buy Bitcoin and buy Ethereum and, and buy as we go down the market capitalization list. They're scooping up these assets historically cheap. Okay, they're buying when there's blood on the streets. They're artificially pressuring prices down, just like we've seen this in the gold market in the past as well. It's completely artificial, but it's so the bankers can buy on the cheap why the general public loses interest, and then again, the general public is always buying at peaks and then typically selling at bottoms. So look for more regulation, and again, we do not need the stamp of approval of these too big to fail bankers to do anything. So this is what's going on behind the scenes. Also, and I want to hear your comments, questions, put them in the box below. Uh, let us know what you think of this video and also new developments in the markets, whether or not it's Wall Street, what this Trader at J.P. Morgan Chase has just informed and warned the American public of an absolute bubble that's going to pop, uh, make the Great Depression of the 1930s look like a church picnic, uh, of which central banks may even potentially start buying direct securities in the open market. I mean, negative income taxes, I, I, this is unheard of. It's unprecedented. In addition to that, here at AMTV Alternative Media Television, and of course, BitcoinRich.com, we will be holding several free live seminars and webinars in the very near future. So make sure you register right now because I've got a limit on how many students can actually apply, how many seats. I think it's about 100 before it caps off. So put your information, click the link below and join us. I'm going to teach you exactly how to prepare for the crises I just mentioned. People say, Christopher, what do we do? How do we prepare? I'm gonna go over how to prepare with assets, this new asset class like cryptocurrency, Bitcoin specifically, what you can be doing now to hedge yourself from that risk. Again, Bitcoin is mathematical. It is backed by an algorithm. It has limited supply. Uh, it is complete mathematics. This is what people don't understand about it. Just like the average person doesn't understand what runs the internet. They're not experts in TCP IP. I'll go over that and also teach you from a guy that does it professionally, how to prepare. In addition to that, I will also be holding another seminar going over how to prepare with gold, precious metals, silver. Silver, we were just talking about here in studio. It's an incredible buying opportunity. We haven't seen prices like this in a very, very long time. So these are two buckets. Again, your mother probably always told you, your grandmother, you want to diversify. Never put your eggs in one basket. This is what I'll tell you. Okay, this will happen. Okay, just looking at the historical track record, we know as a student of history, as somebody who studied economics like myself, okay, who is, who's been in the finance industry for decades. Now, a typical market cycle only lasts between seven and 10 years, seven and 10 years. We are in year 10. We are hitting all time highs. These tech companies are on Capitol Hill right now. Jack Dorsey is on Capitol Hill right now talking about fake news. 
Okay, this is a real problem, he says. All of this is being addressed in real time, and the American people have become complacent. So I agree with this J.P. Morgan Chase trader. I've been echoing that and saying this for years. Now's the time to prepare. You don't have to be someone out there who suffers through the next collapse, as many people will. We saw this in 08 and 09. We saw it in the Great Depression. People lost everything. That does not have to be you. Education is so important. So click the link below and subscribe. It's free. You have nothing to lose. I'll be putting on a series of seminars, webinars, so to speak, on Bitcoin, on cryptocurrency, and also gold, silver, precious metals. I'm going to tell you exactly how to position yourself to not just survive, but thrive in the coming crisis. And it could happen at any moment. I'm Christopher Green. Stay tuned. Of course, this is Bitcoin Rich, AM TV, hard hitting and in your face. And click that link below to join us for an upcoming webinar. Again, seats are limited, so take action now. It's free. Don't hesitate. Right.